Welcome back to Bill's Workbench. Today we're going to be fixing the suspension on the MN128 Rock Crawler. As you can see it's a bit bouncy and bouncy is not what we want. We want it to be not bouncy. So we're going to get that fixed. I have a shock kit that I got from the uh, Amazons. We'll see how it works. Um, I'm a little skeptical on this because we may have to change the oil in it to a little bit thicker weight but we'll find out as soon as we get it installed so let's get it out of the packaging i don't know why things come packaged in three bags and it could have just been this one bag and been done with it but that's the way it came so we're going to get these shocks in you can if you really wanted to and you wanted to not take the body off you could change the shocks without taking the body off the screws that you want to get to are right there I think Can you see them kind of hard to see them A little dark but you can can do it if you'd like to you can get to the top screws but just barely but I'm gonna take off the body because I need to measure the servo to make sure I got the right one so I might as well kill a couple birds with these stones that I have here get started with my p1 screwdriver and we'll take off the eight screws I got the first four screws out the next two screws are down here and they are actually on the shock mount so if we look at the inside of this we can see there's a screw right here and then there's a screw right here as well those are the two you'll remove from the front in the back we have two as well and they're both on the shock tower as well one there and then one right here so we'll take those four screws out the the two screws in the front are different than the ones in the back. And we'll see what I mean once I get them out. The three types of screws we have, we have these little guys that have a smaller head on them. Those are for the front. The four longer ones are in the middle. And then the two in the back with the larger head are for the back. Disconnect the lights. There. I get the stop part out of the way. And here is the rock crawler. You can see we have our controller here. This is our receiver and ESC and light controller, all built in one. You can see we have a regular three-prong connector here for the servo, which we'll be replacing in another video. But we've got our shocks here, and that's what we're worried about today. So we've got our shocks right there. But we need to take out. We're going to have to remove the wheels as well in order to get these shocks replaced. It is a 7 millimeter bolt. You can use the little wrench that comes with it, or you can get a nice wrench. Up to you, as long as you use 7 millimeter. That way you don't scratch them up or mangle them, which would make you sad. And then we can get the shock off of there. Looks like they are Phillips screws as well. Be careful, because when these parts come off, these little doodads come off with them. So you want to make sure you keep them together. In fact, I am going to play it safe and take them all off now. All right. 
And finally the shocks. All right, let's start with the front. Length, yep, yeah, they're right size. And let's screw this one up. And they had those in the middle. That's where I'm going to put these. I don't know what the best place for these are. Middle, back, forward. I haven't experimented yet. Maybe that'll be another video. There is a right way and a wrong way to these. You can see there is a larger shoulder here on this side than on this side. You want that shoulder towards the plastic. Okay, we'll get on the back. I'm going to go top first on the And we'll put our little axle things back on. Alright, we start with the little metal shafty thing here. And then we place this on. gets into place. Well, and then we'll put on our wheel. First one. See, there's already a bearing there. I thought this kit did not come with bearings. But, we will find out when we do the bearing upgrade. Okay. Time for the drop test. Oh yeah, look at that. See how it is with the body on there. Oh yeah, much better, much, much better. We'll have to see how she runs. I'm thinking that the back end is gonna be a little bit too, too soft, but we'll find out. I do have these other springs. I can swap those springs out and uh, see how it runs. In fact, I think, yeah, you can swap these springs out without removing the body. Uh, you just have to do this back. So let's do that now. Let's see if it works better. So, take off the wheel. 
take out this bottom take out the bottom screw compress it a little bit see how there's that gap right there compress it that comes right off take that out do the same with these old ones and has a little gap in there too That has a little adjustment there too for the right height. But we have screws for the right height adjustment. That does not make the spring stiffer. Let's do a little experiment. So we've got it in grams that spring is two grams that spring is two grams when I press it down on it about halfway is 550 on this one halfway is 600 and some yeah this is a much stiffer spring cool Let's see if it really is. Looks better. I like the red better. Huh. Eh, it's about looks too, isn't it? I was going to say it wasn't about looks, but it is. Let's get this wheel back on first before I lose that part. Get this one swapped out. What you can also do if you want to make your springs stiffer is double them up. So use two red ones or use a red and a silver one. That's okay. There we go. All right, here we go. The big test. Oh yeah, that's more better. Yeah, I like that. Better right height. Doesn't come all the way. Yep. All right. I think we are set with swapping out the shocks on this. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I did. And um, hope to see you again soon. The next one is uh, probably going to be either motor or radio, depending on. Well, they both. I need to get them both done at the same time. So, so the next upgrade will be the radio and the motor. Probably the radio first. There you have it.